Dr. Z here with this week's weekly wisdom for at mymdcoaches.com. Well, in this time of, of strife and change, I wanted to talk about history and how you remember Bill and Ted and their excellent adventures. Remember, they were time travelers. They went back and they met Honest Abe and Socrates. Remember the great Socrates? And they, they went back and they honored these people through a phone booth, so to speak. Well, in medicine today, I don't think we can not remember our past. If you go back in time and think of the great advances that have been made during wartime of all times, amputation in the Civil War, chest tubes with the advent of World War I and the influenza epidemic of 1918, World War II, uh, advanced uh, mass units that were then used in Korea, Vietnam War and fluid resuscitation and transport and pulmonary management, the Gulf War and PTSD and more pulmonary advances. In every wartime and strife, there have been advances. And in medicine, we grow by small steps on the backs of those who came before us. In the 20th century, I said it was a century of surgeons. Surgeons were omnipotent leaders and, and all-powerful. Well, that changed. Well, leadership changed in the 21st century. And immunologists and geneticists will take the forefront going forward. That's another story. But in terms of history, I want you to think of this story, which I think is a, a poignant one as a cardiac surgeon. Remember Vivian Thomas, a black man born in Louisiana who wanted to be a doctor. And he went to Morehouse in 1929 with a crash. He lost all his money and couldn't do that. So he ended up being a lab assistant at Vanderbilt where he met Dr. Alfred Blaylock. Well, the rest is history. The two of them advanced the techniques of surgery uh, and tools used in cardiac surgery to this day and advanced those at Johns Hopkins. I want you to remember that story. Never do I want to see the paintings and the history of those places like the Brigham, Hopkins, Vanderbilt, and Starling Hall at Ohio State lost in our past. We remember our past because for us in medicine, without it, there would be no future. Just take that to the bank. That's Weekly Wisdom with Dr. Z. Thanks for listening.